much further up. We're here at the annual Northeast Jingo Conference, and I'm with Jim Womack, founder of the Lean Enterprise Institute, management expert and author. And Jim, in your plenary session, you just said that every day managers face a prisoner's dilemma. What did you mean by that? The way we're organized in companies is we've got lots of verticals. We've got areas and departments and functions and the whole firm that's one of many firms along a value stream from raw material to customer from concept to launch. And the problem is that everybody is in their cell where they can't see the whole. And uh, the uh, game that's uh, played, the prisoner's dilemma game, uh, is which you have a couple of people who have done something bad, they get put in jail, each in a separate cell, and it turns out if they could just talk to each other and coordinate their stories, they could both get off because there's not enough evidence to convict unless one or the other uh, tells that the other person did something bad. And yet uh, when this game is played, and now it's well known so you have to find people who've never heard of it, but whenever you try this in a um, kind of psychology experiment uh, setting to do this, it turns out that the two people always tell on each other. Each convicts the other and they both get in trouble when they both could have gotten out if they had simply had a consistent story. Well, it's a little different, but not that different. Uh, people in companies are in their cells. And they're locked in, by the way, by themselves. They lock themselves in, and I honestly think some threw away the key, so that you don't have any ability to have a horizontal conversation about the flow of value across the entire organization. So I spend a lot of time thinking about how we can create that horizontal conversation to counterbalance the vertical nature of any organization. And one way to do that is to take a walk together, to draw a map, to determine the current state of the process, of the value stream, how it really works, to agree on what the gap is in terms of performance that's needed, and then envision a future state with a plan for experimenting, taking experiments, trying experiments to get to a future state so that everybody in every cell is out of the cell and able to work together, talk together, and raise the performance of the entire end-to-end -end stream. So that's a simple idea, but one I think that can be very, very useful if we all could just give it a try.